Hi everyone. Um, if you if you follow my blog, then you know that um, we recently discovered that we were pregnant again, and uh, yay! Um, so I just want to take you through a personal plus doctor's journey through uh, first trimester, and uh, the one thing that I think for sure we all know is that the first trimester is full of um, nausea. So um, I'll just take you through a few things that I'm doing um, to just take me through. Um, this is from a medical personal perspective. So number one, um, of course, I need to discover that you're pregnant. Uh, you need to take folic, so folic acid. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so folic acid. Um, that's that's key. I'm not a very big person on drugs at all. I don't like drugs, um, even as I am a medical doctor. Um, but folic is very important for your baby. It ensures that there's optimum growth um, of especially the brain and the spine going down. And it's one of the most preventable um, congenital malformations to take care of. So let's take care of it. So the other thing is that um, for the nausea and the vomiting, I use um, this. This is Nosic. Um, it's really over the counter. It has doxylamine and pyridoxine. So uh, really, really good. Uh, for me, I take two tablets at night. So when I take it at night, it prevents me from feeling nausea and vomiting during the day. So kind of helps me ease around during the day. Um, yeah, so that's really been really helpful. If it's if if in your case the nausea is really bad, the other things that you can do. Um, I I have sweets in plenty <laughs> in my bag. Um, my my baby seems to prefer sour things, so really just uh, tropical mints and. Uh, you know like cool meats they they are really helping when during the day it kind of acts up i realize the more i drink water the the better it is so i'm also drinking a lot of water i should have shown you my bottle um so yeah you can get a bottle a target here somewhere uh for for drinking water as well uh, every time i take about two liters during the day i'm fine i don't have issues at all um yeah so a lot of water i'm of course avoiding tea i'm avoiding coffee one because it makes me feel icky the tea it just really makes me feel bad uh, but also because coffee and stimulants are not safe in pregnancy so yeah and then to take the drugs um i told you i'm not good with uh, with drugs so i've bought a lot of juice that I'm keeping bedside. So right before I sleep, I'll chug on the juice, take my meds, and then just flush the rest of the juice. Uh, that way I'm able to keep the drugs down. And then I'll wait like 15 or 20 minutes, then now actually, I get down to, to sleep. Um, I've started a pregnancy journal as well. It seems to be keeping me sane. Um, yeah. Um, I've also noticed a lot of fatigue, a lot of fatigue. I don't know why this time around I'm having so much fatigue. I don't remember having it before. Um, and also a lot of sleepiness. So if you've noticed I'm turning down on WhatsApp and all those things, especially in the community, I really just don't have the energy right now. Um, but I'm giving myself license to slow down. So I'm giving myself a lot of room to just take things uh, a day at a time um, taking naps where I can um, that is also helping so if if I've pushed four hours when I have high energy I can take like a 10 minute nap and then continue with the day uh, thankfully my family is very supportive thank you for my hubby and all and all, everyone especially mom and everyone um, so that's also helping so I think that the message there is just allow yourself credit to to slow down your body is going through a lot of changes as Harvey keeps telling me your body is going through a lot of changes and allow yourself to go through them um yeah so a friend of mine has a good pregnancy journal i'll, I'll link her up so that um, she can share it here um but 
I think that those are the things that um, are really are really helping me so far. Um, I just thought to share. In case you have any questions, I'll 